Okay, so I have a rather large barn. Um, a lot of you that are regulars here, you know all about it, and you've probably seen, what is up with all of this poop? You have probably seen all the videos on how we made it, and built it, and crazy stuff. So um, let me pause this really quick. I'm gonna have um, the all-knowing, all-web surfing, A-named person turn on the barn. Ah, much better. Okay, so I have built this barn myself with the aid of husband who handles all of the electricity and he was really cool about, you know, some of the muscle and some of the designing with all of this, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have three stalls here. Uh, we've got one that's here, a double stall there, and another stall here, there, <laughs> and a wash rack. Um, our, this whole barn was built for big horses. So um, we made everything with two by sixes and two by eights and just made it really big and overly strong with everything. Um, so yeah, uh, each of these stalls, the little ones, they are 15 by 12 and that big one is a 20 by 12, which is perfectly big enough to fit one and a half draft horses. It gets a little tight when um, Jarvis and Noah go into it. So that's the barn. Um, yeah, I'm still working on it. There's a couple of things. This was an idea that went south. Um, that's my tack room, and it's also going to be my office. Uh, I do actually have another job now. So I do work out of the barn at um, two days a week. So, and then of course I built my awesome 10 foot doors. So what I what I did today, and what I really wanted to show you guys is, hey, we're gonna, talk about hay. So let me put you guys here for just a second. And oh, right there. And we're going to talk about hay. Okay, hay. Lots of really cool stuff. Um, when I first started with horses, I didn't know anything about hay. It was grass. You know, hay and straw, I got the two mixed up. Not a good idea to get them all mixed up. So hay is for all my new people who don't have horses and who um, are a little unfamiliar on the ins and outs of what we talk about when we talk about hay and the different types, hay is basically really super long grass that's been cut and let to dry. Flipped around a couple times and then bailed up into these big squares. Now, straw is still grass, but it's very long and it's hollow. And then of course it's cut let out to dry, tossed around a couple times, put some big bales. Um, let me get you an example. Whew. Okay, this is straw, and I will show you. This is oat straw, and you can see the, this is the oat seed pods. You can see it's pretty flat. Um, this has been knocked down quite a bit. It's been in the, I use this for, um, for bedding, and it's flat, it's, it's kind of hollow a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little hollow. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. But it's very flat and it works great for bedding and if you have donkeys. Donkeys love to eat hay, uh, straw. Now hay 
is a little different. This is just like grass. You know, it just looks like some grass that's been kind of dried up and cut. And that's, that's the difference between straw and grass. <laughs> so this is straw and this is hay. Okay, so now, now that you get that done, let's put you back up here a little bit. Okay, so now that you know the two of them, let me talk about hay. Now, I have um, three different kinds of hay here. I have tough hay, I have orchard hay, and I have orchard alfalfa. I did have some fescue hay, and there's a whole bunch of other kinds. There's, there's coastal, and there's Bermuda, and zoysia, and all sorts of different kinds of hay. But for draft horse purposes, I try to find the hay that is the lowest in sugars and natural starch uh, carbohydrates. So, or acid carbohydrates. So, um, I usually go with Tef, which is this over here. And then this light, this bright green one here, that is the orchard alfalfa, uh, orchard alfalfa. And this darker one here, that is straight orchard. So, what's the difference? glad you asked okay so uh, let me turn the light on here okay you should be able to see everything that's in here okay so teff <laughs> teff grass is very fine and very very soft and it's very pliable and it's very easy for a horse to chew okay now uh, fescue I think I might still have some in here Fescue is a little harder. The grass blades are a little wider. It's basically your lawn grass, okay? My guys don't like it. They push it all around. They don't like to eat it. It's very bitter. It's hard to eat for them. They, they don't like it. They're older, they're spoiled. So now we have orchard grass. An orchard grass is really kind of neat. It's like a combination of the teff and fescue, but it's very soft like teff and it's very short stocked, meaning the blades are very, very short. So this one, well, it's been cut short, but teff, you can't find one that has really long blades. <laughs> Usually it's, it's a little very long, but you can tell that, um, this is a much shorter blade of grass, okay? And this is the alfalfa. It's got alfalfa in it. And I really seriously think this is Timothy because it doesn't really look a lot like orchard. It looks like Timothy because Timothy is very green, very flat, and um, it's very soft. And this looks like Timothy. So what I did is I took because I wanted to know what kind of hay I had to feed my horses now. Because my, oh, um, hold on. Okay. <laughs> so my grower of Tef has decided to not grow it anymore. Um, either it wasn't profitable for him or it was just too fussy. And I'm gonna gather it's just a too fussy of a grass. Because most of the Tef that you get is out in California where the temperature is more consistent and the weather is better and it grows nicer. Around here, if it gets to about 32 to 36 degrees, it dies. It just, it doesn't like it and it falls over. If we have hard rain, it falls over and then it gets moldy. Um, so he, he just really, I guess it was just too much work for him. So he went to, um, I think, Oh, I think he went to Orchard. I'm going to have to reach out to him. I'm going to have to see if he went to Orchard because I think either that or he went to Coastal. I can't remember. Coastal is not so good. I'll explain that later, but it's not for my horses. But if he went to Orchard, that's good. <laughs> um, so anyway, before I get off topic, um, all this green that you see here, all of that, that's what's left of the fescue. They used it as bedding, and I have to rake it all up. So what I did is is I took all of the hay that I had and I used the exact same height of each bale because we weighed all the bales and they were about the same weight, about 52 to 54 pounds, which was nice. 
and all of them I pulled off about three to four flakes on the top which to me my one flake is a normal horse's two flakes so I put out six 12 12 flakes um, and then I think one the Tef actually had an extra one in it so it was actually four piles and um, the other ones also had four piles so this is what happened after that was from last night um, we have to harrow today, so please excuse the little poop piles. So you can see here, I put one, two, three, four. So I have one, two, three, four here. And this was all Tef, and it was all the big side. And then over here, just to keep everything separate, because I did not want to take up the whole pasture, like over there, because they've been sleeping kind of like in the middle. Um, I put, and you can hardly see it, I put one, two, three, four, <laughs> and then one, two, three, four up here. I put the orchard straight up here. This is where the orchard was. As you can see, there's a, a little bit different color here versus there. So you can kind of sort of see the, the marks. There it is. And then I put the orchard alfalfa here, which you can... And that's why I said I think this is Timothy, because that doesn't look like a t an orchard blade of grass. It looks like a Timothy blade. So maybe she gave me the wrong one. That'll be really cool. So, but you can see what happened. <laughs> the green is just left over from uh, the grass. This is a blade of grass. But this, uh, this, uh, the, the seed heads on here don't look like Timothy. And I'll, I'll have to show you those later. So you can see they ate it all. And they ate it all. And they left the Tef. <laughs> well, hello, hello, hello. And yes, I had my hat and my coat. It's cold. It's actually not really all that cold. I mean, it's like, I don't know, 28, 29, 30 degrees maybe. But today, I got something fun to show you. I'm gonna do a test. And that is our test subject. And that is test subject number two. So, what am I going to do? Well, this is going to be fun. Oh, I forgot the other thing. Well, that's right. Um, there's four piles of hay out there. One, two, three, four. So there's no arguing. Okay, so um, I am going to do a test today. And it's gonna be high speed test, so I'm gonna let this go on like super speed, like all day long. Cause I have a test. <laughs> Not like I haven't said that already, but, um, oops. I bought some hay. This is the Tef that I always feed. Um, this is orchard alfalfa, and that is straight orchard grass. Um, and I'm gonna do a test to see what one they like the best. Obviously the, alfa, the orchard alfalfa. But I'm gonna set this up, lickety split, and I put out exactly three flakes of each one in different piles. I think I might have put four flakes of the Tef. Um, and I'm gonna let this run, and I'm gonna let you guys see who gets what, when, and let's see which one likes it the most. And then, depending on what it is, I'll buy more. So let's see uh, what happens. Okay, I got all, all the hay out. And um, so let me show you what I got. This here is, um, it's supposed to be orchard alfalfa, but that looks like Timothy to me. This looks like Timothy, but I don't see any Timothy heads, so it's probably orchard. Um, and because it's got alfalfa in it, um, here comes trouble. And here comes test subject number four. So I've got that. I took one flake, the basically the same amount in every bale um and put it out so what you see is basically everything that was there and i put them all spaced apart really well so there wouldn't be any fighting and uh, i'm gonna set this up and we're gonna let you guys watch them eat although Jar darcy just destroyed that bale that little pile <laughs>
So, the results of my test <laughs> are very, very clear. They, um, they'll eat the teff, but apparently they're not as goo goo gaga over it as I had expected that they were, or thought they were, or anticipated that they would be. Um, they prefer it over fescue. They prefer the orchard over the teff. And of course, every horse that I know just absolutely loves alfalfa because it's got so much protein in it and it's really good for the horses. Um, that's another story. I'm not gonna go off. <laughs> I'm gonna try to stay on track, you guys. Oh, for my uh, new subscribers, yeah, I tend to find bunnies and I'm off on an another tangent and then I turn around and I come back to what I was talking about three minutes prior. So I'm gonna try to stay on track. So that was the result is I need to buy orchard. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to reach out to my grower and see, I think he went off to orchard and I, I didn't want to at first. I'm going to have to write to him and I'll let you guys know. Um, so yeah, there it is. And that's that. So let's go say hi to the boys real quick. Hey boys. My husband just came home with the trailer. He was helping a friend, a neighbor of ours move a car. So he used his, his little trailer there to do it hi boys now for my new subscribers the one here you guys have met noah already that's mr darcy and behind him is jarvis and um mr darcy is 22 years old this year he has cushing's disease and um ring bone really bad <laughs> hi noah hi handsome and you're klutz today Hello. He's getting so much better. He's only been with us for like two weeks, like I said, right before Christmas. And he's 10. He's just a youngin. And he thinks he can push everybody around. So there's the stinky face right there, you guys. So for all my horse people that don't know mares, and he is not a mare, uh, he's got the mare stinky face down pat. Yes, you do. You do. See, it's right there. And usually it's accompanied by a bite. or a nip or something like that. This is the face that horses will give to you if they're upset or they don't like whatever it is that you're doing. So I think he's just all talk because he came up to me and then gave me the stinky face. So this is Jarvis. Hi handsome. He's my very first and he's gonna give me the stinky face because stinky face over here is giving me the stinky face. <laughs> what are you doing? You trying to chase off my boy, huh? We're gonna have to ride you today. I'm gonna try to ride you. Uh-oh, he's getting into trouble. What are you doing, Jarvis? Getting into trouble. Jarvis is uh, 20 this year, I think. Or he's like 19. I think he's 19 or something like that. But he is a full-blood Percheron. <laughs> and he's trying to imitate looking like Noah, I think. Um, he's He's kind of a hard keeper. Don't you nip. I know it's not like, eh, no nippy, no nippy. Don't be nippy. That's all right. <laughs> you have awful breath. You know that? Have you been eating weeds? <laughs> you have terrible breath. So there's the stinky face. So every mare, owner will know the stinky face. Right, Noah? You do. You're very good with the stinky face. <laughs> so let's see if we can move you backwards. Can you back up? I know. Back up. Back. Back up. <laughs> Come on, back up, please. There you go, good boy. I know. I know. So I love talking to my horses. And, uh, <laughs> making sure that they're behaved. <laughs> Stinky face. <laughs> I have fun with them. They're fun. They don't like being bored. They hang out with each other, but they do like a little bit of playtime, I think. <laughs> Hi, Darcy. Hi, sweetheart. He's the one. He's my diva. He loves to watch himself in the 
in the videos and right now he just doesn't want to be bothered so we're gonna let him walk away there's mr stinky face move another stinky face <laughs> darcy <laughs> he feels better so anyway that's the guys and you'll see a lot more of them because I've got to figure out what he does, whether he's rideable, really rideable, and how much of it. So I'm going to head inside. Thank you for watching for my experiment. And uh, I will let you all know um, shortly whether or not my grower has decided to go to orchard. That'll be really awesome. Okay, have a great day, guys. We'll see you next time. Summerfield Farm and one, two, <laughs> three draft horses. <laughs>